Hey, we're here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore. That's 6725 West Central Avenue. That is Toledo, Ohio. 436 This is Tuesday, of course, the day before New Comics Day. Tuesday, July 24th, getting ready to process these boxes here. This certainly seems to be a little bit better week than last week. Last week was a bad week for uh, for damages. However, that being said, this box does not look very good, but I am going to take care of the, the short bus box first. And then we'll, we'll dive into the, the possible bad box. Some of this non bubblish wrap. Okay. We got some flyers for the Fan Expo in Canada. Nice that they send these out and help to make my boxes weigh a little bit more and cost me money. But I don't see a check in there to cover that cost. If it wars launch party, Avengers Infinity War folded. Uh, promo posters. So, that's a new comic from Durf. True Stories. He, of course, did the Dahmer book. His stuff is too crazy. And it's true stories, which I can I can understand. Some of the stuff I've seen myself. We've got the little book of the X-Men. These books are pretty neat. They run $10 each. Very, very cool. Got a cool Alex Ross uh, painting on the back, little book of Iron Man. This is from Iron Cover to Iron Man One, and the, unfortunately, it's not Alex. Get the little book of the Hulk, which does have an Alex Ross back cover, and has a, uh, I believe it's a Herb Tremp uh, front cover there. And this is from the cover to 102. We just got a 102 in stock. Here we do have this copy of this uh, Durf's True Stories of Damage. This is a packing damage. Unfortunately. Okay. T Titans Go at the Movies poster. So I'm going to try to find some place to put that up. Let's get this box out of the way and crack open the next box. I try to recycle sometimes the boxes and certainly recycle the uh, bubble wrap inside. Don't do as much as I should, but certainly try to do what I can. Okay, let's see this box here. See if we're lucky enough to find the Doomsday Clock sixes, which are out available for sale tomorrow, but which are available for reading to me today. New Hillbilly by Eric Powell. This book has actually been coming out on a very timely basis. I am, I, I am actually a bit surprised. Eric Powell with the goon was a bit late at times. Uh, and speaking of the goon, Eric, please, please bring back the goon, man. Please, please bring back the goon. Got this great Amanda counter cover on beach blanket bad guys. Super villain stories. Cosmic Ghost Rider, second printing. Again, as I say, there's no reason why you can't pull that down. You can't have this image. This image, Ghost, Cosmic Ghost Rider, can go behind this stuff here. Uh, but unfortunately, the companies don't think of uh, how their books are going to look on the stands. How us retailers are going to uh, have to try to sell their product. So a lot of times when I do my FOCs, which are our final uh, uh, order cutoffs, I'll look at covers. If I see covers that have the logos at the bottom, I will make a conscious effort to order less of those. New Deadpool Assassin with great artwork by Mark Bagley. Hellraiser 34. Got the Punks Not Dead. Copy set aside for a customer. Actually, I think both my copies are being set aside for customers. Unfortunately, Punk's Not Dead, uh, the, the new imprint from uh, uh, 
IDW, it's under the imprint of Black Crown, not selling up to what I would consider uh, the standards. Got Jim Balance Terrell, which is the Black Rose. I just saw on his Facebook page that he and Holly were flying back from the San Diego Comic Con, and their uh, flight attendant saw that he was drawing a picture, drawing, and she asked if uh, if he could draw her as a superhero, but with clothes on, which is funny because uh, obviously he was drawing uh, pictures with with the probably Catwoman. Uh, or maybe Harley Quinn with no clothes on. Uh, the new issue of Aquaman will be out available tomorrow. New Exo Man of War. But uh, he and Holly both did sketches uh, of her. Holly did her a sketch of a fairy. And Jim did a, a sketch of her as a super flight attendant. And very, very nice. Uh, the, the, the look of joy on her face that you, that you see. Got Pathfinder. The look of joy on her face that you see is, uh, you know, says it all. Issue 50, deluxe edition of Zombie Tramp. Bowen Parish. Parish, Parish, where are you? Parish the Thought. Uh, looks like we got issue 6, the final issue of the Mira Queen of Atlantis comic, Reclaiming Her Throne. Saw the. Uh, Aquaman trailer. It looks very good. It's got Black Manta in it. And guess what? Black Manta looks... It looks like Black Manta. You know, it's, if it was a Marvel movie, Black Manta would look like, well, he'd look like Claw. Ooh, Claw does not look like Claw. Mr. and Mrs. X, Rogue and Gambit, are together, and they're married. Oh, my God. You've, you've done it now, Gambit. You fool. Now you're gonna have to. She's gonna wonder where you've been out late at night, and no, oh, I've been out with the, been out with my thieving friends. And it's like you and your thieving friends. You're always out together. You need to have time for me. Blah blah blah. Nag nag nag. We've got the new moonshine with uh, Edro, Eduardo Rizzo cover. This is a very cool book. If you have not read that yet, give Moonshine a try. Action Comics. We've got the David Mack cover. It's a uh, better cover than what David did on Superman 1. I thought David Max, he's he's certainly much better than I thought his cover on Superman 1 was very lacking. Uh, he's certainly uh, certainly much better than that. X-Men Wakanda Forever, covered by the very talented Scotty Young. Like to make his his kid covers, kid friendly covers, but then Sometimes they're not quite as kid-friendly. Again, the rest of my Hillbilly uh, is by Eric Powell. New issue of Harbinger Wars from Valiant. Yeah. Varied cover to um, Infinity Prime. It's a Greg Hildebrand cover. Uh, Greg's brother Tim uh, passed away many years ago. I first became uh, aware of the Hildebrand brother brothers uh, back in high school, uh, one of my English teachers, Jim Rhodes, or, or uh, Jim Burroughs, not Jim Rhodes, uh, Jim Burroughs, uh, had the uh, uh, Lord of the Rings uh, calendar, which I uh, first became aware of who the Hildebrands were at that point. We've got cover A to Doomsday Clock. Just take a quick look at that. And that's all you're going to see for now. Plenty of Doomsday Clocks in here. I see I've got Amazing Spider-Man. Number two is in this box also. First issue is fairly good. Uh, Nick Spencer, I was a bit surprised considering how awful, how uh, awful Secret Empire was. You got the Taskmaster. You got the... Uh, you know, Black Ant or whatever they're calling him these days. Got Peter and Mary Jane in bed together. I guess they're having breakfast. Lots more Amazing Spider-Man 2s.
So we've got a dynamite book here. We've got a Stargate book for a customer. We've got Green Harrow, Green Hornet books for customers. Second issue of Charlie's Angels. Look, where's Jim Ballant? He's drawing, he's drawing the hot one. Marvel's Multiple Man, giving Jimmy Madrix his own his own miniseries. I've got some copies there that are damaged that will have to be called in. I ordered very few of these because unfortunately this book is selling very poorly. Not too many people care about Jimmy Madrox. Here we got the uh and thankfully these are not damaged. The J. Scott Campbell variant covers on Amazing Spider-Man number two. Look at the MJ. She's making his spider sense tingle. He's going to have to get some extra web cartridges because they're going to get emptied. We've got the Bedtime Games from Dark Horse. Got a very nice cover to Barbaroa. It's very possible this may be a hot book because of the artwork. The new Judge Dread Under Siege. Got the new Dungeon Dragons. New issue of Silencer. It's uh, too bad that John Romita Jr. jumped ship soon after this book came out. Um, I wish uh, John's artwork very much fit the book, and I wish these guys would actually commit to, uh, to these comics like they used to. Back in the day, back in the day, artists would be on comics, uh, creators would be on comics for a very long time. A new book from Image, The New World, with Tad Moore, uh, Trad Moore doing the artwork. He, uh, his, his art style is very, very different. Uh, he has a very unique art style. Someday, these books will be, I'm sure, very hot books with his work in it. He did the Luther Strode book. If you've never picked that up and never looked at Luther Strode, give yourself a give that a try. Here is the other cover to Doomsday Clock. However, as you can see, there are copies damaged. So I'm going to have to call those in. Hopefully there are some salvageable copies in the stack. But those are coming out of this side here. And as you can see, I'm pulling these out. Get damaged copies to be had. Okay, the zombie tramp cover that's damaged. Spirit hunters damaged. Venom third printing covers that have some banged up corners on them. The hit girls in this box also, the hit girls are very badly damaged, as we can see here. Very badly damaged. Hit girls are damaged. Danger dolls are damaged. True believers, what if, are damaged. The only good thing about the true believers, they're a dollar, they're cheap comics. Those I might might still put out. Because they're cheap comics, they're never going to be worth anything more than a buck. I do see on the other side of the box, I do have more doomsday clocks in there, so that's, that's certainly good. Here we got a variant cover on Mr. and Mrs. X. Got the cover B's to the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And these are the Kevin Eastman covers. Nice to see Kevin still putting out work. As big of a name as he is, he probably couldn't. Uh, doesn't need to put out work. 
got the first one, issue 1001 of Action Comics. Uh, the This starts the Bendis run. At least they've got uh, Patrick Leeson's doing the artwork. That's one bright point of that book. We'll see how this first issue of Bendis' Action Comics is. I did not mind his Superman 1 uh, when it came out. A lot of people did not. I think they, uh, a lot of people are still expecting him to be to be like his Marvel stuff. Myself, personally, I did not think it was quite uh, as preachy or politically correct as his Marvel work. Uh, I've got the... I believe these are my... Nope, this is uh, Dr. Afra. You've got the Grand Tarf... Uh, Grand Moff uh, Tarkin uh, uh, variant covers. Some people are going to be very happy with those. We've got Detective Comics. Looks like DC. Uh, this is a trend, so I uh, just have to assume all their cover Bs from now on are going to be the Virgin covers. It would be nice, though, if DC would have images for us retailers. Again, on our final order cutoffs, as we're making these orders and placing these decisions as far as what to order, it would be nice to have some sort of it would be nice to know what we're ordering. You know, rather than ordering blindly and then get caught knowing that you could have sold more if you only knew what the cover looked like. Um, DC is a much better company than that. I would have to give them an F for not keeping us retailers informed. Uh, they do pretty damn well otherwise, but uh, they get a big red flag. Uh, on their paper you just saw the I think it was the connecting cover for the Wakanda forever uh, get another Stargate Atlantis for somebody I'm sure looks like these are the regular covers uh, Terry Dotson covers to Mr. and Mrs. X uh, they really hope that these are going to sell well myself the previous Gambit and Rogue miniseries sold okay Nothing to write home about, but it sold okay. Got one of the other covers to Green Hornet. And we've got the Walt Disney Showcase. Arizona Goof. It's Arizona Goof. Now, I'm going to pause this and we'll move this box over here. Okay. Took it as a quick opportunity to straighten up some some comics, put them in their some of their piles. And see what's in this box. See what kind of comic goodness we've got here. Infinity War, Infinity War's Prime. I just don't know. I've not been overly impressed with the Infinity Wars uh, series thus far. Got one of the other covers to Spirit Hunters. We've got the Scooby-Doo team up. Scooby-Doo is teaming up with Swamp Thing. I had a uh, just bought a pretty good 60s and 70s Marvel and DC collection. There was uh, Swamp Thing's first appearance in House of Secrets. We sold that and sold the Swamp Thing number one. Both of those sold. Century. This book, uh, not impressed by that title. I know there's people that probably do like it, but I am unimpressed by it. New Detective Comics. Looking forward to reading that. We had the Virgin cover already, so now we have the regular cover. The rest of my Detective Comics. Danger Dows. I had Danger Dows that were damaged. Uh, 
Nope, these are vamp blades. So, those will be a set aside for a couple of customers. Another spirit hunters being set aside for customers. Flash number 51. Flash has been uh, on fire recently. Uh, people hot for Flash number 47s. Believe you me, I wish I had Flash 47s. Um, but unfortunately, those people are jumping on, jumping on the bandwagon a little bit too late there. We've got the Art Germ cover to Wonder Woman. I saw that he's doing a Lady Death cover. And man, that's all I'll say is Lady Death is... She could kill, kill me any day. The rest of the Art Germ covers. This guy is, is very, very talented. Anything he touches, he's like minus. Okay, we've got some of the Infinity War Prime. You see this appears to be a packing damage, so that will get set aside. These are variant editions. These are probably hoop jumping. I think these are the, you know, these are the Ron Lim covers. If they could only get Ron Lim to do the actual insides again. Old Man Jack has been set aside for customer. Got the first issue of the series from Image. Shanghai Red. First issue seemed to have sold okay. Batman Beyond. All new Scarecrow. Somebody's going to be happy. Big Scarecrow fan. Modern Fantasy from Dark Horse, the second issue. We've got Moon Knight. Moon Knight doesn't sell like it used to. I think it, it, it would, except, well, it just doesn't sell like it used to. We've got the variant cover of the second printing of Amazing Spider-Man 1 or 801. And Spidey says goodbye. And hello to a new number one. New issue of Wayward. Transformers Unicorn. Meet the newest Teen Titans. Got Lobo's daughter. I'm uh, surprised there's only one daughter for Lobo. The retailer incentive cover on Star Wars Adventures 12. Like we got more covers of Hit Girl, but these are undamaged covers. She's up in Canada. Got Russo doing the covers, or doing the artwork on the inside. The first uh, arc, the artwork was horrendously bad. You got the regular cover to Infinity Wars. Looking forward to reading that. Hopefully, hopefully it's good. Another cover to Danger Girl, Danger or Danger Dial Squad with naughtiness. Venom number four. I'm not sure what uh, Donnie Cates is doing with the character with this series. Uh, we'll have to wait and see just where he's taking the direction of this of this comic. Because Thanos, of course, were red hot. X-Men Grand Design, the second Genesis. You've got the Cockrum, the Len Wein, the, uh, the John Byrne, the Chris Claremont stuff here. I'm sure that's going to be sought after. And are they doing the pages? Yes, they're also still doing the, the brown pages or tan pages. To give it that authentic look. The True Believers. With, uh, the late Paul Ryan's artwork. Sue Storm wearing her very hot costume. Or Sue, Sue Richards, not Sue Storm. 
she was Sue Storm, then she married Reed Richards. So her name is Sue Richards now. Latest, there's an issue they're showing in Fantastic Four talking to Medusa, and she refers to her as Sue Storm Richards. I'm sorry, Medusa, you know better than that. Her name is Sue Richards. Don't need to uh, change things that she's never been referred to that. So why start now? Hack Slash with Vampirilla. Uh, they got Negan's bat there, it looks like. Got the new, the new from uh, Aftershock Comics. Got the new Brothers Drag Cole. Here's the second printing of the Teen Titans special. The other cover to X-Men Second Genesis. Uh, Jean Grey doesn't look... She looks a little manly in those pictures. Got man hands and uh, no hips. Uh, this is not a good representation of Jean Grey. He, uh, I'd have to give him a big F on that. Uh, somewhere Dave Cockrum is cringing. New issue of the Realm. This series has finally started back up. Jim Henson's Labyrinth. I wonder what Jim would think of these books these days. Finally, we've got the first issue of Justice League Dark. Very anticipated by, by a lot of people out there. So, maybe, again, something I'm going to have to make an effort of, making sure I read before tomorrow so I'm able to give people, people a good opinion of that if they ask me about it. Again, the rest of the Justice League Darks. You got Swamp Thing here, or is it the Dread Thing? Swamp Thing's letting himself go a little bit. Uh, the other cover to the New World, again, with the art by the very good Trad Moore. Transformers Bumblebee. You got Garth Ennis's A Walk Through Hell. I am very surprised. Uh, Aftershock's not done a second printing on that issue number one. Seems like it's popular enough that it would warrant that. See if we can get through the rest of these books before time runs out. And time's not going to is going to run out. That uh, there's barely a minute left on this. So we've got Blackwood again. More Danger Dows. And more Hit Girls. Star Wars Adventures. The Retailer Incentive cover to the Turtles. The 52 seconds left. Black Sabu Trade. The other covers to the Jim Henson book. Sonic the Hedgehog with a sparkly cover. Lucy Dreaming. The Venomized Trades. Cover A to the Turtles. Dark Souls. True Believers with the late Mike Ringo. Starcraft from Dark Horse and 